Uh, my special guest today is uh, one of the November 9 members, uh, Pius Hyen, who is uh, seventh right now in the chips with 16425000 Thank you very much, Pius, for joining us today. You're welcome. Uh, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good, obviously. Um, I haven't, it hasn't like, I haven't realized it yet, you know. Uh, I don't know what it all means yet. Um, I guess it's going to take me at least a couple more days to like, realize what all this means. I guess my life's going to change from now on and yeah, but I've, I'm feeling pretty good right now. A bit tired, but uh, other than that, I'm feeling good. <laughs> now day eight action was, was quite fast and furious. We actually got down from 22 to 10 quite uh, relatively in a short amount of time. Did you have a, a strategy going in? Um, yeah, I mean my strategy was for the most part to just like steal a couple times, uh, maybe three bad, two or three times, just so uh, that I like can maintain my stack, you know. Um, but I wasn't looking to make like a big move on, on anybody and like run a big bluff or anything like that. Especially since I wasn't one, like one of the big stacks, so I couldn't really uh, apply that much pressure. I would have come in with 45 million, maybe that would have been a different story, you know. Then I would have been really, really aggressive, trying to punish the people that want to like make in November 9. But uh, in this spot, I was being one of them, so <laughs> I didn't really want to mess around with anybody. Was there any hand in particular that uh, was a pinnacle moment for you to to get you as far as you did? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, actually, there were like at least two hands. One hand was again, uh, on day six where I played a huge, huge flip against Sebastian Rutenberg, another really, really good player from Germany. Uh, he had ace king, I had queens, uh, and I won that one. Uh, and it was like that was like for seven, seven and a half million at that that point. Uh, so that was like put me near, near the chip lead again. Um, that was really, really crucial because I was all in for my tournament life, and if I don't win that flip, that uh, I would have been out, and with I think 11 or 12 players left, I got in King Jack, uh, King Jack, King Jack of uh, Clubs versus um, Ace King, um, and f flop came like I don't know 10 8, 10 8 6 I think with two hearts. Uh, he had the ace, he had the ace of hearts, and the turn was the six uh, the six of hearts. So I can only hit like an, an offshoot nine or an offshoot Jack. And the river was nine diamonds, <laughs> uh, so I make a straight, and um, yeah, and that was like for all my chips. And I was down to eight million at that point at 150, 300k. Um, yeah, and I survived there on the river. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made it. <laughs> How did you get your start in poker? Um, I just saw it on TV. Probably, probably actually the main event I saw on TV, and thought it was like a pretty cool game, and. Uh, Started and my friend thought, uh, thought so also, and so we started playing at you know at the kitchen table basically playing five cent, ten cent cash games, you know, with ten euro buy in like really really small, uh, like every once a w once a week, you know. And then I like discovered online poker and I deposited like two hundred dollars or something like that, and started playing like you know one dollar, two dollar tournaments and small cash games and stuff like that. And yeah, and I enjoyed playing. I loved the game and. Thought if I can get good at it, uh, good at it, it might be a good chance to make a lot of money and uh, enjoy myself. And I guess it's worked out all right. <laughs> Who do you think is the most dangerous opponent on the table? I think this is really, really, really tough. Uh, November nine, actually. Uh, nobody is particularly bad at poker or like so uh, or like a soft spot at the table. Um, I know Phil from online. We we played a quite a bit online, so I know him. I think he's a good player. Um, and other than that, it's probably going to be Ben Lamp, I guess. He's like definitely the most well-known player. He has like a really, really sick series. He has, he has absurd, absurd, absurd results. Um, and he's to my left also, so that's like not a good spot at the table to have, to have him on my direct left. Uh, because he's going to make it tough on me. And uh, When you're not playing poker, what are you doing? You know, you know that poker players are really, really lazy, you know, so <laughs> honestly, I, if I don't play, I don't do a whole lot, actually. I'm, I'm just like, you know, I just like enjoy being lazy, uh, you know, but like, you know, hanging out with friends, all that good stuff, partying with, drinking with, and all this, these kind of things, but not nothing that would be particularly special or something like that. Any vacation plans in the near future? Oh, for sure. Uh, I mean, I'm going to play the, the circuit, I guess, the UPTs and the, and the WSOP Europe, and uh, so I'm gonna like when I'm there, I'm gonna like check out some of these stuff, and I might like just go to the Caribbean or something, something where it's like really, really nice, and relax a bit for like a couple of weeks. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. We appreciate it, and uh, good luck to you in the rest of uh, the November 9 series.